Today we're going to discuss the Briggs and Stratton BSV 23. It's a 23 horsepower. Uh, we've got about 35 hours of flight time on it using both the uh, uh, culver prop, wood prop, and warp drive prop. Both of them can be used. Uh, we've got it the starting point, we do believe, for the uh, culver prop. And uh, I've been testing this at full design weight, which is a 275 pound pilot. And that includes clothes and baggage and whatever, whatever is not part of the airplane. And that's where we've been at. Uh, the airplane is right at legal, legal weight. Uh, ultralight part 103. The engine uh, firewall forward, including the bolts in the firewall, uh, the wiring, uh, everything related to that engine. The exhaust pipes, uh, the prop, everything is right at 81 pounds. So we're in the same weight category as the half VW. Now that's a half VW, uh, depending on how you treat your half VW, for instance. If you have an electrical system, an automotive electrical system, and have a very heavy battery, it may be more than that. Uh, if you have a magneto, it will definitely be more than that because the magneto by itself weighs four and a half pounds, and then you gotta have a connection inside the engine, so there's some weight there. So we're, we're good weight-wise compared to the half VW. The uh, wood bar dyno tests we've operated and run uh, on this engine as well as uh, the Werner and the half VW uh, on Leonard's original XL and on Leonard's original uh, well, the ultralight, the original one. Uh, one of those indi engines indicates uh, I forget exactly what it was but it was less than what we're getting here. The other engine it was right at 30 horsepower. Uh, the maximum I have saw actual horsepower out of this engine is tw just a tad bit over 25. But the torque at the prop, uh, we're getting more torque than either one of those engines. As a matter of fact, we're getting torque that's up above and in par with the 45 horsepower VWs. And so the question is, does this thing do what it's advertised to do? And I'd have to say yes. It's a fun engine to fly because we have the lightweight, we have a starter. Now we have a high-tech LIFEPO battery, lithium battery. It weighs one pound, one ounce. So that helps keep the weight down and that is included in the engine weight. And uh, we have mufflers on this. And so uh, it only affects the total RPM about 10 RPM. And uh, it's nice and quiet. It's a, like I say, a fun engine to fly. Um, the magnetos that we have on here, here and over here, those get grounded to kill the engine. If they're not grounded, the engine will continue to run. It does not need an electrical system. It has a fuel pump because my fuel tank is below my carburetors. And so what happens is this is the original Briggs and Stratton fuel pump. And we have a return bypass line that goes back to the tank. Otherwise we build up too much pressure for the floats and the carburetors. And uh, we have an EGT and a CHT. We've been watching the, the, uh, the temperatures. Uh, we've been also using a handheld uh, infrared thermometer on the ground. I have a tachometer, a Hall Effect tachometer. That way we get an accurate engine RPM. This is at the prop. We also have a tiny tack uh, that is tied onto the engine to see what the spark is saying. That way we can see what the engine's doing and what the prop's doing, see if we got any slippage. Uh, sometimes the tiny tacks are not as accurate as they should be. Anyway, uh, it starts easy, runs easy. We've got the heavy flywheel on it right now. The advantage of the heavy flywheel is we pick up our electrical charging system so we can charge the battery. Uh, there's about a, oh, about a 10 pound difference between this flywheel 
and uh, putting the aluminum flywheel on. Uh, so there's advantages there if you're really desperate for saving weight. Uh, the performance of this airplane uh, on a typical day, I'm seeing roughly 200 to 250 foot a minute climb, which is nothing to write home about. Uh, in my Werner powered uh, the the orange airplane uh, under similar conditions, I'm seeing about 350 to 450 foot per minute. With this airplane with the burner on the front of it, I'm seeing about four to 500 foot a minute. Now, I have a friend that come out here recently and flew this, put a little over three hours on it, and uh, he weighs 100 pounds less than I do. His climb rates were twice what mine are. Uh, the air speeds weren't that much different, but the climb rate itself was about twice what I'm seeing. Uh, the most I've saw out of this is about 350 uh, with this prop, and uh, this is a 60 by 27. And I have saw about 350, he saw as high as 700. Now, that's not necessarily 700 sustained, but that's 700. Uh, with the Werner on there, uh, on this airplane, I have saw as high as uh, about 550. And uh, uh, there's a definite difference in the weight of the pilot. A hundred pound pilot, a standard pilot is supposed to weigh about 170 pounds, 175 pounds. And I weigh about 275 with my clothes and my flying gear and everything else on. So that do make a difference. And so if a person's thinking about doing something like this, uh, the first thing you got to look at is how much you weigh. And you need to build the airplane light anytime. You want to build the airplane as light as possible and uh, take a look at the obstructions. I have trees all around the airport here. Uh, and if you didn't have any trees around, you'd be in great shape. Also, take a look at your flying experience and your uh, what you're wanting to do with the airplane. If you're at a high altitude airport, uh, this probably is not the way to go. Uh, if you're at a oh, an airport that's, uh, any, I'd say anywhere below 1,500 feet sea level, uh, you're probably in, in decent shape. Uh, it, it performs very much like the half VWs, the low horsepower half VWs. And uh, on June the 10th, we're going to be with this airplane and this engine down at Leonard's uh, for his open house celebrating the 25th anniversary of the legal legal design. And so come down there and take a look at it flying uh, because we will be flying down there uh, this is a, a a real neat little airplane and I just I like the engine there's nothing wrong with it uh, the 60 by 27 prop we're rotating the engine at about 4430 rpm on takeoff uh, and once we get in the air, we pull it back to about 3950 to 4000 RPM. And with the warp drive, uh, we can cruise with the engine at 3600 RPM. That's 2000 engine RPM. I'm sorry, that's 2000 prop RPM. So what happens is uh, uh, we're turning it faster than the manufacturer designed these for, because they're designed for 3600 RPM. But at 3,600 engine RPM, we just don't get the power to get me off the ground. I, I can't even get out of ground effect. But as the RPM comes up, uh, with the warp drive prop at about 4,200 RPM, engine RPM, that's where it really likes to climb. And this one here likes to climb at about 4,430 RPM. That's with this warp drive prop. Uh, a lighter person instead of a 60 by 27 would probably want something like a 60 by 29 or even a 60 by 30. But uh, anyway, uh, the answer is yes, it'll fly, it'll do what it's supposed to, it meets the weight requirements. Yeah. Now, if you're thinking about putting one of the other engines on here, like a Predator for instance, well, would it work? Probably would. 
but again you'd be out the only person in the world doing that so you'd have to have somebody else doing it to start building time for a database where things really start coming together is when you have multiples of these engines flying so that if you had 10 of these flying built just like this one or very similar to this same engine same redrive same props same carbs and you've all flown an hour that's 10 hours of total flying time well in a year if you each fly 50 hours that's 500 hours of flying time that all goes together and gives you a collective database leonard milholland has plans for this installation uh, all the parts and pieces uh, and drawings uh, at his website at LegalEagleAirplanes.com and uh, he also sells plans for the Legal Eagle XL, Legal Eagle Ultralight, Double Eagle and so contact him and uh, you can get the plans to duplicate what we've got here.